actually put over there. As you can see, houses, blocks, flats, buildings all around. Um, this was the site. There's the Thames. There's a marina there. It's a hot, sunny day. People were actually working on their boats, throwing bags into the river. Um, further down the river was this island where the um, uh, scientific area of interest was. Um, there's your petrol station um, with another 250,000 gallons plus the 50,000 that was already there. So as you can see, this is um, basically a bomb. The other thing that this farm told was interesting, he said there's so much petrol, there's actually not enough oxygen. You actually need a, the, the ideal mixture is about 15% fumes to oxygen, and then it's, it's most explosive. He said he thought you could even throw a lighted match in it, it wouldn't go off, although I wouldn't like to try it. Um, halfway through the cutting operation, which I said did take an hour, there was an explosion a quarter of a mile away in a pub cellar. Some of it got into the drains, and it got to the right, and the pub uh, central heating boiler had come on on the timer, and boom, and they all heard it. While they were cutting the woman, he said that was the scariest moment because we all heard this bang. We all froze and stopped and looked at each other because you wonder if it's going to shoot them on the pipe somewhere and blow where they were. And then they just carried on. So she was gone out. Further down the River Thames, you've got an island called Gary Cape on the Thames. <coughs> so if you imagine that's the Thames and there's this island. What they did, the people who lived on the island, they got all their boats out and they made a barricade with their boats. Got all the birds in behind the barricade, so as the river Thames came down, it went that side of the island and, and the birds were safe. So there was all kinds of informal people ringing mates and so and so knows so and so. The, the key to this is informal. It's about knowing about someone else in another agency who knows something, who's got some expertise, who's got some knowledge that's different to what we've got in our kit, in our knowledge. 